Now, I'm going to really need your help in the comments down below because I genuinely don't understand what the real issue is with this new Champions League format everybody's complaining about. People are saying it's confusing, that it's wrong, uh, too many teams, that it's non-traditional from how they've been doing it for the last couple of years or for a really long time, actually. And sure, like, yeah, like, it's not traditional. It's something new. It's something different. But that doesn't mean it's necessarily wrong. And in terms of the confusion, yeah, I understand, like, how the draw could be confusing. But that's besides the point. I think, regardless, this is still a pretty good thing for the champions league for football in general and i'm going to explain why there's going to be a timeline so you can skip to any point of the video that you want to but the first point i'm going to talk about essentially is money because money is always the number one priority for you know things like this because everything is a business now football is a business so money is the number one priority so as long as they can make money they're going to change it to no matter what system it is like in ne next year they could change it to a completely different system because it makes more money so money is definitely a factor so they're gonna have more money they're gonna make more money wafe is gonna make more money and it's just more business opportunities for them so essentially it's not the it's not like the fan answer that you want to hear but i'm gonna get to that in a second more matches means more revenue more ticket sales more people are gonna watch it on tv and that leads to more sponsorship deals more tv deals more more subscription opportunities like we're gonna have like we have the paramount plus already with tbs they're probably gonna fucking switch it to like disney plus or something you know and then you know but that with that money that goes back to the clubs the fan bases that goes back to the league itself to the champions league itself with that money it'll be used to improve football over time so more money is good for the future of the game because they'll use that money to improve it and you know give us more things but besides the business side of it more on our end like we just have more entertaining football to watch throughout the champions league every champions league at least draw a stage game first phase of the champions league we're gonna have more entertaining football more important games to watch in the beginning stages like look at psg's schedule right here they play city they play Bayern munich they play let the arsenal psv salzburg Girona, and stuttgart every single game that they play is going to matter there's not going to be a single game where it's like oh okay this is the last group stage game this doesn't matter because we're already second place we're already in first place no like they're going to play, be playing a very very difficult uh, they have a very difficult schedule they are playing difficult teams very hard teams even in, with the likes of stuttgart hirona and psv even though hirona and stuttgart this is the first time they're playing in champions league for hirona it's the first time ever for stuttgart a first time in a long time but they're still very good teams for their respective leagues and no they're not going to be playing these teams in this exact order city first Bayern second and let the third that'll be decided later on but still like it doesn't matter you're gonna have to travel like they're gonna have city at home they're gonna travel to munich back at home for atleti travel to uh, the emirates it's just back and forth back and forth back and forth that it's gonna be entertaining so there's not gonna be a game in the champions league you're gonna want to miss i think a, th a third point to talk about is just the expansion of the teams like it, we're going from 32 to 36 teams now in the champions league that's also good there's more inclusion with other teams in europe other great teams that maybe should be involved in champions league or just maybe just just to give them the opportunity to play in champions league you know maybe giving opportunities to clubs who wouldn't have participated in the old format it's really good for those clubs and their supporters to you know experience the champions league and really promote diversity in this new you know tournament which you know nowadays it's it's very very important so from a business standpoint and even from a fan standpoint it's a win-win situation you know promoting diversity you know allowing these clubs and the fans to experience champions league for the first time it's very very important and it's a really cool experience i mean just look at these teams who have to play through the qualifying rounds you know to get to the actual first round proper or to the actual proper champions league you know it's very exciting for them and it's very exciting for their fan base so we're including them into this competition now or we've always been there's always been qualifying rounds right but they have a probably a better chance to get in because there's four more teams it's a new format you know even if they don't qualify for the the top eight of the league phase like they're still able to qualify for a playoff spot where they'll play a team in a two-legged you know game and for the last point like i've already briefly mentioned this but literally every game matters like there's not going to be a dull moment and that is UEFA's like main you know marketing point right like every game matters there's not there's not going to be one any of those dull games anymore or those games that don't matter or the games that nobody's going to watch you're going to want to watch every single champions league game from beginning to end i feel like the people who would understand this the most would be people who play football manager if you play football manager and your team is in the new champions league format 
you know that every game matters, no matter if it's a home game or away game, and no matter what the opponent is, every Champions League game matters. I, I play football manager and I have a say with Barcelona. Every single game matters. I'm like three years in and you're not going to know if you qualify for a playoff spot or a top eight spot until like the last two games of the eight game stretch. So it makes it very fun. It makes it very entertaining and it makes you watch every single game with full attention. But I think after everything that I just mentioned, there is one downside to it. And this is something that is not new at all. It's been talking talked about for a long time and especially very recently and that is the congestion of the schedules for these teams yes we're gonna have more games more action more football and that's what we want as fans but for the clubs for these players it's a lot for them it's it's, it's gonna take a big toll on their bodies um they're not gonna be able to perform 100 percent every week they're just gonna be going back to back to back to back to back playing games i mean remember when klopp talked about it like a couple of months ago he ranted about the fact that the players were overworked and that even if you like have like a throwaway game then that just ruins your whole chances in, in the tournament so yes with this new champions league format there are two more games added to the calendar which essentially means we won't have a break in January. So obviously we're going to have two more games added on to the league phase of the tournament and so those games will be played in January and then the actual playoffs will be played in February. And these longer seasons will take more of a toll on the players if they have to play international games, uh especially during the season and even after in the summer. With the World Cup, with Copa America, with Euros, with the Olympics, and etc. We had the Copa America, the Euros and the Olympics just this summer. So the players who've played in that just had absolutely no rest going into this new season. And now we have the World Cup in 2026, so it's going to be very very difficult. So and I mean with this case we could see more teams taking a more maybe defensive approach a more cautious approach that probably not be really highly in pressing intensely for the 90 minutes because you know they they're gonna have to rest their legs for in three days time when they play real madrid at the bernabeu so yeah i can't admit that that is probably the main downside and maybe one of the downsides that there are to this new format but honestly i think the positive definitely overlaps the negative even though uh, it does suck to to have a very congested schedule i'm really really looking forward to you know seeing more action more bigger games for it to be entertaining from beginning to end i definitely need to hear your comments down below let me know if you think the negative overweighs the positive does the positive overweigh the negatives let me know what you dislike about the new format and let me know what you like about the format so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one